We know that this ice shelf existed for at least 11, 12,000 years. In 2002, two thirds of it collapsed in less than six weeks. In the intervening period between 2002 and now, the remaining part of Larsen B has also been weakening very, very quickly. We expect it will not last for more than a few years to come. This will undoubtedly affect sea level rise by putting more ice into the ocean. Now we have this rare opportunity of this ice shelf destabilizing and eventually collapsing in front of our eyes. And that will give us incredibly valuable lessons that we could use to understand what might be happening elsewhere in the future. It is certainly a warning. The conclusion is inescapable. Let's get down to Antarctica, and we have the peninsula here. This is where there are several ice shelves. Now, there's a difference between ice shelves and glaciers. Let me explain. First of all, Larsen A, this one disintegrated in 1995. It has melted away. We're talking about Larsen B, but this is a quite large one. See here. Uh, it is stable, uh, scientists believe, but it is showing signs of thinning. So when we talk about Larsen B, here's what's happening. When you look at the land mass, back in 95, over 11,000 square kilometers in 2002 was down to 30. 3,400, and now it's only 1,600. An ice shelf is a part of a glacier, but it's a barrier. It keeps most of that ice in the glacier intact. When you lose the ice shelf, which floats on the water, and this disintegrates, it doesn't add to the sea level rise. It's like an ice cube inside a glass of water. But once this breaks down, then it allows rapid decline of the glacier, and that leads to our ocean rises. So you can see 2002 from February into February. A little bit later, it breaks apart. This is quite a lot of thinning in March 2002, and even in winter, it can refreeze, but the damage is done. You cannot repair this. It's irreversible. This goes hand in hand with, oh, with a report just two weeks ago from NOAA that CO2, our emissions, our greenhouse gases now, the number one element is its highest level that's ever been recorded, over 400 parts per million. This is the highest level in 650,000 years. We know this from core samples. Uh, but again, look at pre-industrial age. I mean, this is average was 280. So we've got 40 global sites. And if that is the number one element to our, our greenhouse gases, along with, of course, our sea surface temperatures that continue to be on the rise. So all of this bad news comes hand in hand. I want to take you back real quickly here, back down to Antarctica because in purple you're going to see glaciers and they're all in decline every one of them when you lose the ice shelf you start to lose the ice this could take decades to even maybe a century to see a 1.2 rise meter rise in the waters but again uh, it's going to continue and half the world's population lives in coastal cities <music>